Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's the 14th of April 2013. We are pleased to invite you for a space weather forecast prepared by the solar science specialists of the 8th high school straight from Katowice, Poland. Please welcome our first reporter who will provide us with general information about the science activity. The activity of the sun stays currently at the moderate level. The sunspot number is equal to 148, what may cause minor disruptions of the geomagnetism. However, it shouldn't bring any major problems with the communication. Today, the solar wind blows with a velocity of 447.1 km per second. Later, Matt will tell us how exactly it affects the opportunity to observe the auroras. Thank you for the introduction. And now, Kamil and Jacob, please tell us how exactly things are going with the solar wind. Could you explain the mechanism and interpret the current data? The solar wind is a stream of charged particles released from the upper atmosphere of the Sun. It mostly consists of electrons and protons with energies usually between 1.5 and 10 a kilo electron volt. The stream of particles varies in temperature and speed over time. These particles can escape the sun's gravity because of their high kinetic energy and the high temperature of the corona. Generally, wind speed ranges from 250 to 1000 km per second and the average value is 750 km per second. So we don't have to worry about disturbance of Earth magnetic field. As we have just heard, the velocity of the wind is 447.1 km per hour. However, its intensity varies with changes in solar activity. Well, that's a good news, Jacob. What about the solar flares? Have they been observed lately? A solar flare is a sudden brightening observed over the sun's surface. The flare ejects clouds of electrons, ions and atoms through the corona of the sun into space. These clouds typically reach Earth a day or two after the event. I will now, I will now ask Adam to give us some information about the impact of flares Adam, Adam, can you hear me? Hi everyone, solar flares affect all layers of the solar atmosphere. They produce radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum at all wavelengths from radio waves to gamma rays. Although most of the energy is spread over frequencies outside the visual range. That's right, what's more, flares are powered by the sudden layers of magnetic energy stored in the corona. The frequency of occurrence of solar flares varies during the day from several when the sun is particularly active to less than one every week when the sun is quiet. It is worth mentioning that large flares are less frequent than smaller ones. When it comes to current data, the 14th of April brought flags of B7 class which means that the brightness in the wavelengths was quite high, in 1 to 8 range and no noticeable consequence on Earth output. The probability of occurring M-class flares in the next 24 hours is 30%. Thank you a lot for this comprehensive presentation. But what about the world of impressive auroras inextricably linked to the solar activity? Aurora is a phenomenon that occurs as the glow in the upper layers of Earth's atmosphere. All auroras appear in the same time and often exactly around the North Pole, where they are known as Aurora Borealis, and around the South Pole, where they are called Aurora Australis. The presence of auroras depends on the energy from the solar wind, which, as Jacob said, is weak. That doesn't mean that you can see them. On April 14th, taking into account the weather on Earth, aurora displays will be visible overhead as far south as Alaska, Norway, Russia, and visible low on the horizon in Montreal, Stockholm, Helsinki, and Yakutsk. Thank you for your attention. This is all we prepared for today. We wish you a good day and see you another time. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs>
Młodek. Wychodzi ci łokieć. Bartku, wychodzi ci łokieć. Mądra, Stockholm, Helsinki i Jakubus. Tu stoję. Tak. Jeszcze raz. Może się nie przesadź? Wstępny no, przerwę, no. No, 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 We are pleased to invite you for space weather forecast prepared by the solar science specialist of A High School, straight from Katowice to Poznan, who will provide us with general information about the sun's activity. <laughs> <laughs> Mogę wyłączyć to nagrywanie, czy nie? To się nagrywa? Tak. Od 3 minut. Please welcome our first reporter, who will provide us with general information about the sun's activity. O, the activity of the sun. To jest kolejny. Teraz, how exactly nie? O, jest, okej. Thank you for your attention. This is all we prepared for today. We wish you.